Well, we've got a bit of a mess here. I used to have a riser pipe in this spot because in the past I had a water trough here and other things. So that's long since been abandoned and I was keeping the riser pipe just for the off chance that I might want to put a water trough here again. This last year, in fact, I kind of came to the conclusion that I likely would not ever put a water trough here again and that I needed to remove this riser pipe, get all of these panels and posts out of here just to kind of clean this area up and just make it better. And the calves have, uh, I guess, encouraged me to hurry up with that project. They broke the riser pipe off a couple days ago and I got in here and dug it up and plugged the pipe up so that it wouldn't just continuously run and I could still have water into my water troughs. Having the pipe plugged right here only takes water away from the trough down in the backfield that no one is using right now. So it wasn't a huge hurry to get this done. But today's the day that it's gonna happen. I wanna get the pipe fixed, get it buried again, get all of these panels and posts and everything out of here and just have this go back to being just plain old pasture right here. It's supposed to start raining this afternoon, so I'm hoping that I can get all of this done before that happens. But of course, we gotta feed and do all the other things that have to happen every day. And speaking of feeding, these calves are impatient. I, if I fill their feeders up, then we won't have to listen to them while we're doing this project. So I think we'll start with that. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Okay, now we can get started. Definitely gonna want these today. Sometimes I just don't know how things become such a mess, but they absolutely do. This gate here on the ground I think is is not terrible it's just in the mud that's not too bad so I think like this isn't as good as a really expensive gate but for like a farm store gate this would be the higher tier so I, I don't know where I will ever use this but We'll, uh, we'll put it in the pile somewhere. It's actually heavy. We got this cleaned up much better than it was before. I'm still gonna come, like I say, bring the tractor, yank these posts out, get this one last panel that's stuck in the mud, get it out. And um, yeah, but first I gotta fix the pipe. And in order to do that, I need to widen up this hole a bit try to get as much of the water out as I can. Good news is the ground is nice and soft and easy to dig. All right, I think I can work with this now. First thing we gotta do, get this off the rest of the way. Let's 
still a bunch of good plumbing parts here. We'll save this for sure. Next, we gotta get our temporary repair off. Apparently that line still had some pressure on it. So we're gonna repair this with a slip coupler, which is this. You can see where it gets its name. We just put it down in the gap and extend it. And boy, we're gonna be close. Some purple primer on the pipe here. Now in a perfect world, this pipe would be dry that rarely happens so you just kind of do the best with what you got that was the wrong end gosh darn it I hope that holds well I kind of got my wires crossed there I was pulling the wrong way on that slip coupler and by the time I figured out what I was doing wrong, I don't know if the glue was already kind of starting to set up or what, but I was able to get it on there a little bit. I'm really hoping that this doesn't leak. Um, so we'll let it sit for a few minutes to cure. Usually this stuff cures almost immediately, but just because I don't think I slipped those couplers on as far as I would have liked, I'm going to wait a little bit longer, give it some extra time, then we'll turn the water back on and see what happens. aren't you? Those dogs, just go, go, go. All right, cross your fingers. And don't see any leaks, don't see any drips. The hole is a little bit fuller with water, but that's just kind of that groundwater seeping in there, I think, I hope. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and bury this and hope that it does not become an issue again. Topping the list of things I don't like to do is shoveling mud. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's terrible. It's awful. But I got the hole filled now. The problem is that since there was so much water down in that hole and pretty much all the dirt that I had to fill the hole back in was already wet, this is really spongy and squishy and I don't think I can let these calves back out here for a little while because if one of them happens to step right here, there's a good chance that hoof's gonna go all the way down to that pipe. So let's run and get the tractor, get the rest of these T-posts out of here, and this last little piece of panel, and then we'll be done. And yes, I do have my chain here. Felt the drop, there hurry. These old tractors are notorious for breaking people's thumbs and wrists while they're driving them. And the reason for that is because they do not have power steering, which means they are susceptible to bump steer. And if you don't know what bump steer is, that would be one of the front wheels hitting a rock or a hole or something and rapidly turning, which translates back through the steering wheel which causes the steering wheel to rapidly turn. The trouble is that most people have a tendency to hold the steering wheel like this. You can imagine what would happen if that steering wheel rapidly spun counterclockwise. See how it would grab my thumb and 
kind of tear my hand back. I was taught from a young age to hold the steering wheel like this. That way, if the steering wheel unexpectedly turns really fast, it's just gonna slip through my hands. Something you might wanna keep in mind if you drive an old tractor that does not have power steering. starting to threaten to rain a little bit so while i got the tractor running the cows are watching me they're, they're hungry i think it's time to feed them I confused them. They're not used to me feeding them in the middle field. Anyway, they found it. Look good girls. Look good girls. Okay, okay. You don't have to stay anymore. Good job. Well, I probably better get headed home before it starts raining, but before I leave, I wanna check the trail cam. I moved it down here, which means I probably have a lot of Cali and belly, but we'll, we'll see. As expected, we got plenty of cats on the trail cam, but I also saw a rat and I, I think a mouse. And then there was another one where it was difficult for me to tell what it was. I'm guessing it was probably a cat. I'll put the clip right here and it's probably obvious. Sometimes when you go back on the trail cam and try to uh, watch the video it's it's hard to tell what you're looking at but I also noticed that it looked like the rat was walking along the side of the round bells here and then what you can't probably see on the camera is that the good nature trap is right here as well and then in some of the later videos I saw that the cats were all around this spot too the counter on the good nature trap says it went off three times so I don't know if we might have got some rats in the trap and then the cats took them away because there's nothing there now but i think i will i'll leave it here for a few more days the trap that is and see if we catch anything else and if not then it might be time to move it people do ask me and especially this time of year about the good nature traps and how i like them 
I'm still really happy with them. I have caught three or maybe four. I just caught another one the other day. So I think I'm up to four rats in my shop back at home. The good nature trap here in the barn, I think has had a total of six triggers and I've never found a, a dead rodent by it, but probably the cats or whatever are dragging them off. So as far as what those were, if they were mice or rats, I really have no way of knowing, but it appears that it is doing something. Only they know for sure and they're not telling. I knew they'd all be in their house. Man, I don't know if it shows on camera, but it, it's not even wet under the trees yet. So I sure hope we get a lot more rain than this, but I guess it's gonna do what it's gonna do. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.